So uh, I'm fat. You know what I'm saying? I like food. I'm not no neck fat, you know what I'm talking anymore. Like I lost some and then the neck came back a little bit. So we we good. I'm just like I have more work to do, is what I'm trying to say. I think I've gotten away from my original point, so let's um let's start over. So I like edibles. Like it's putting a thing that I like into a thing that I love. First of all, what you gotta understand is that we 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 didn't measure. Like, don't get me wrong, there was some people who were very proficient at the infusion, but but there was a lot of people who were were not. Like, you could make a whole tray of brownies and not mix it right, and then, you know what I'm saying, like, one brownie is just, like, you're going to go to Pluto, and then everybody else is just going to get, like, a delicious brownie. Um, well, well, on this occasion, I was the one who ended up getting the Pluto brownie, uh, and I for sure took off. I uh, was living at the homegirl Janine's house in her garage on the couch. I think there was another dude in there. Ash, he was there, too. It was one of the party houses, you know what I'm talking about? It was always, it was always going on. I think it was around the 4th of July. I know that because we had bought fireworks earlier in the day. Now, I remember telling my homie Ash that, you know, you're going to shoot your eye out with that Roman candle that you're buying. I say that like we didn't buy a lot of Roman candles. We bought a lot of Roman like too many, too many. Anyway, so I'm back at the house. So I'm eating that brownie, scrum diddly umptious. And then like 20 minutes later, I was, I was, I was high. And about 10 minutes after that, I was, I was extra high. And about five minutes after that, I realized it was a problem. I was just sitting at a table in the in the garage, listening to music, staring at a deck of cars. Ah, I did a motherfucker. So I was like, shit, I, I need to go in the house. It's, you know, I went into the house, and I, they were watching a movie called Step Into Liquid. It's a surf movie. Now, I've only surfed five or six times in my entire life, and, and one of those times was in a hurricane, which was not a, not a great decision. But this movie was amazing. Something about the music and the waves... It was just, it was, it was beautiful. And I, I was also very, I was, the movie kind of regulated everything. It like, it put everything in perspective. It made me want to surf, not on the waves they were surfing on, but, but you know, like they was doing the toe in surfing. I feel like if you need to get towed into the wave, the wave too fast, and that's literally the wave telling you to leave it the fuck alone. Anyway, the movie gets over and it's only like me and one other dude who are watching the whole movie. And then I realized, man, what's, what's going on outside? Now, before I went, into the house, there was a Roman candle fight going on, but it was, it was civilized. It was civilized at that point. I guess they ran out and some people went to get some more and I kind of forgot about it, you know, cause I, I thought I was a mongoose at that point. So I get up to get some fresh air and tell somebody about this amazing movie that I've just watched. I open the back door and it is chaos. There was a firefight. It's it's reds and blues and greens flying all over the place. Somebody's on the trampoline firing off rounds. <laughs> one of the homies, Lane, who was on crutches at the time, has got two Roman candles in one hand, double barreling it. Now, my first thought was, this is irresponsible. No, that's a lie. My first thought was, bet not nobody had to stole mine. Now, remember, I'm 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 on one. So to me, this is this is this is beautiful. This is this is the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. Like, imagine you was just watching a dope-ass movie, and then you walk outside and see Star Wars. You know what I'm talking about? And then, like, it was waiting for me. I saw Ash running across the yard, getting shot at by, like, three or four people. I don't know which one of them did it, but one of them things hit him in the eye. He did a corkscrew backflip that would make Simone Biles proud. The game stopped. We all approached Ash, some of us trying to no avail to stifle the laughter. Ash was hurt. I'm not going to be like, no, nah, he was fine. No, nope, he wasn't. It shot him in the eye. He, was, he wasn't good. He wasn't okay. But he was well enough to see me standing there with his good eye and just say, shut up, Nate. <laughs> I told you. I told you. But you didn't want to listen to me. And now you got Roman Candle in your eye. He sat out the rest of the game. Oh, did you think we stopped playing? No, we did not. And then later we blew up some teddy bears on the baseball field. I'm, I'm not a role model. Just to make it clear.